So this is a pair of women's 550s by Levi's. These are the sort of prototypical mom jeans. They sell on eBay for about $20 a piece on average over the last two years or so. But what if I told you you could sell the same exact jean for three times as much money on the same platform? Well, let's talk about it, see if that's actually true. Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh. And yes, it, could it really even be true that you could sell the same pair of jeans for three times the money just by using a different method? Well, that was what some uh, commenters on my videos suggested in Discord and also uh, my own experience. Uh, this question had been sort of on my mind for some time. So I decided let's dive in, look at the research and see if we can actually prove this case study. So what is this method exactly? Well, many of us who list jeans and sell jeans on the regular take our photos like, you know, lying flat, hanging, Maybe you do the fold method where you do it a fold like this. It's nice and, it's nice and pretty, it's nice. Um, but the method here is a little bit different. It's, you still do those photos, potentially, uh, but what you do different is instead of leading with your primary photo being something of the gene lying flat, you actually put a bump in the rump and actually model the genes themselves. And supposedly, this can mean up to even 300% increases in average sale prices. So what I did is I went back and used Terapeak, a tool on eBay, to look at the last two years of sales history for the 550. I uh, got an average price of all 550s at around $20, which is consistent with what I experienced selling them myself. And then I went and I found all the listings I could find that included a butt photo as the primary photo. And then I averaged those sales out to see what the average selling price of a pair of 550s that included a butt photo, how, how high was that average sale price? And I was shocked. The average sale price without a butt photo is about $20. The average price for a pair of 550s that leads with the butt photo is over $60, a 3x increase in the average sale price between the two. That seems a little bit crazy to me. So next I figured I need to see if I can duplicate this same trend with another pair of jeans. So I went and looked at the 512, which was another mom jean from the 90s with a high rise, but this one is a little bit more slim fitting. And so uh, generally pretty popular pair of jeans, though they're not as common as the 550. Um, and I went into the same thing, found the average sale price of jeans without the, uh, the butt photos uh, as their primary photo, and then uh, a subcategory with the butt photos as the primary photo. And here was the difference. The 512 came in about $25 average sale price as opposed to the butt photo 512s that came in over $60 again. Again, we're seeing a dramatic difference in the average sale prices depending on whether or not you led with a modeled photo as your primary photo on your listing. So then I said, okay, certainly this trend cannot continue let's go look at another model and i went and looked at the women's 501 which is a much more valuable and rare model that uh, is much more coveted the average sale price much higher it's at 50 dollars for a pair of women's vintage 501s and i did the same thing without the butt photo and with the butt photo the average price without was about 50 dollars so already a much higher average sale price in general and then with was over double, about $102 per listing, per sale. That's a significant difference and the trend continues. Now the trend is not as dramatic maybe in the 501 because the pairs of jeans are already much higher in value, but I think we're onto something. I think it's becoming very clear that this trend that a modeled butt photo definitely seems to take the cake in terms of average sale price. And then I said, okay, maybe it's just a Levi's thing. So I went and looked at Lee, Lee women's jeans from the 90s and 80s specifically that are very similar in their silhouettes to the Levi's jeans we just mentioned. 
And I said, let's see if the, the trend continues. The average sale price for a pair of women's vintage Lees is much lower, around $15, $16. And we saw the exact same trend where uh, the Lee jeans would sell for nearly double what their uh, flat laid counterparts uh, sold for. That is a significant difference in my opinion. We had about $15 average sale price without and about $32 with. Again, much lower because the the, the Lees are much less um, uh, desirable than the Levi's are in general. So after looking at all this data, I noticed a few things. Uh, one was that with the Levi's, after about $40, about the $40 threshold, you started seeing very significantly less uh, modeled photos in their listings. Just wasn't as common under $40. And this is what we would expect if that were the trend. It also makes sense too because people may not see the value in modeling a, uh, a pair of jeans that's only going to sell for $20. It's not worth their time. But we all saw a little bit of an opposite effect with Lee. We saw Lee uh, jeans being modeled all the way down into the $25 range. And that's probably because, in my opinion, uh, people are, know that Lee is less desirable than Levi's and need to try to raise the value somehow. So what better way to raise the value than to use the same method you used on the, Lees, or the Levi's to get more money, but use it on the Lee's on even lesser value items. But they still both resulted in approximately uh, double, 100% or more, increases in sales. So this effect actually becomes even more exaggerated on platforms like Etsy. Etsy is um, considered a little bit more of a sexy place to sell vintage Levi's or vintage jeans in general. Whereas eBay is a little antiquated, a lot of older sellers on there. But if you go to uh, Etsy and you search vintage Levi's women's, out of the first 50 listings that have pop up in the search engine, Almost half of them include butt photos as their lead primary photo. And their prices that they are getting are even significantly higher than on eBay. You go to eBay, do the same thing, just leave vintage Levi's women's. Literally, when I search it today, one photo that fit that criteria popped up in the first 50 listings. No wonder they're getting a lot more money over on Etsy for jeans than they are on eBay. Of course, I understand I'm mansplaining all of the prices of women's jeans, but it's fairly obvious, to me at least, that if you're buying jeans online and you can't uh, put them on to try them on yourself, you seeing them on a model gives you a lot more confidence in the way they're going to fit and look than just, you know, sort of guessing, shooting in the dark and seeing if the jeans that you get in the mail actually fit and you have to then either return them or keep them, especially if you're going to pay a lot of money for them. So it makes sense to me while, why, you know, women would spend three times as much money on a pair of jeans uh, that they can actually see on somebody versus uh, just sort of shooting in the dark and seeing if this flat lying jean with you know certain measurements actually fits you in the way that you want it to fit you. So makes sense to me. Now you might ask, does this apply to men's jeans? And I'm going to tell you right now, I do not think so. I went and looked. Uh, very few men's pairs of jeans actually include uh, butt photos or any sort of model photo. Uh, if you know, just not that big a deal, I don't think. Uh, it's actually interesting when I did find them, uh, they actually included the front uh, angle of the uh, photo, not uh, from the backside of the model. So I don't think it makes a huge difference when it comes to men's jeans. Maybe that's just because men don't really care as much. I don't really know. We're not concerned about how our butt looks in the jeans. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's not. But it just not did not seem to make that much of an effect on men's jeans. That got me thinking. Uh, I sell a lot of women's jeans. You know, lots of Levi's. But I've been doing it the old-fashioned way. You know, just same old boring flat felt photos hung you know front and back whatever maybe i need to up my game how would you do i mean would you just put an ad in the paper butt model needed i don't think that goes over well in my rural community you know, no way the daily quill will put that in there uh i'll ask my wife that's what i'll do she's got a good looking tush we can probably pull it off so i'll check back in a few months see if i'm living high on the hog if the 
the cushion was worth worth worth, worth the pushing. Oh, that's bad. I'll check back in a few months and uh, we'll see if this is really working out. And if it is, maybe you can duplicate it for yourself uh, so somehow. Uh, girlfriend, butt model, yourself. Who knows? Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Hope this information was interesting and helpful to you. Maybe you'll make a bunch of money uh, being a butt model. Uh, I'm going to sign off. See you guys. Bye. <laughs>